Just a couple scripts of clouds coming through Kelloland. Skies will be mostly clear tonight. And, you know, we've had hardly any wind today, so with the sunshine, it hasn't been too bad a day. Overnight tonight, thanks to those clear, mostly clear skies, it's going to be kind of cold. Low by morning, 21 Sioux Falls, 16 Aberdeen, 21 up here, 24 in Rapid City. During the day tomorrow, it'll be partly cloudy and a little bit warmer. 40 Sioux Falls, 34 Aberdeen, 43 up here, 49 in Rapid City. Little or no wind. Your weekend looks pretty quiet as well. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Kelloland News starts now. Live from Kelloland Media Group. Kelloland News, first at four. Coming up, how crews are getting the holodeck tower ready for the holiday season. Plus, where you'll be able to find a popular Sioux Falls pizza place. And why Minnesota regulators rejected hundreds of cannabis license applications. Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in to First at Four. I'm Don Jorgensen. And I'm Kelly Volk. A jury convicted a former Ipswich teacher and coach of sexual contact with a child by a person of authority. Unlike core records also show that 47-year-old Jeremy Loken was also convicted of sexual exploitation of a minor. However, the jury found him not guilty of rape. A sentencing date has not been set yet. The charges filed in June stemmed from an incident that Loken's wife is in home daycare. He is no longer listed on the Ipswich School District's website. Investigators in northwest Iowa are looking into a deadly crash west of Lamar's. The Plymouth County Sheriff's Office says deputies were called to an area for reports of a possible field fire just after 7 o'clock last night. Authorities arriving on the scene found a pickup on fire. A person was later found dead in the driver's seat. Authorities say that the pickup left the road and went some distance in the ditch before getting stuck on an embankment. It then started on fire and the driver was not able to get out. A newly elected lawmaker from Northeast South Dakota might not serve in the House of Representatives. Chris Reeder from District 1 says he's been having some unexpected health issues that may get in the way of his legislative term. Reeder ousted incumbent representative Tamara St. John in the Republican primary in June. Then he went on to win the general election. He has not officially resigned at this point. If he does resign, Governor Kristi Noem will appoint someone to fill the seat in the House of Representatives. Just coming into our newsroom, the postponed Pink concert is no longer happening in Sioux Falls. Today, the Danny Sanford Premier Center announced that the concert would be canceled. The show in Sioux Falls, as well as Des Moines, Lincoln, and Milwaukee were postponed back in October. The concert was going to celebrate 10 years of the Premier Center. I know a lot of folks were excited about that. A lot of disappointment out there, I bet, for sure. Yeah, well, do kind you have any... Kind uh, of with our weather. Yeah, do you have better news for us uh, in the weather department, Jay? Yeah, pink was just going, eh, it's kind of cold up there in the Midwest in the wintertime. Maybe that had something to do with it. Actually, today was a pretty nice day because we didn't have any of that wind we had yesterday. We had a bit of sunshine. Temperature was a little bit below normal. Right now, in fact, in Sioux Falls, just a northwest breeze at 13 miles an hour. Temperature 34 degrees. Our normal high for this date is 43. Three. Uh, let's take a look around the rest of the region. Could be worse, could be in Webster. Of course, they're still cleaning up the snow and it's feeling a whole lot more winter-like in northeastern South Dakota. Here's where we have left for clouds. Just a couple stripes that will pass through the area and that'll be mostly clear overnight. And that's why it's going to be kind of cool, actually kind of cold overnight because we just don't have much in the way of wind. Our temperatures right now are only in the 30s. Only the southwest quarter of South Dakota is warmer. Although, boy, Pine Ridge, 57 degrees. That's 20 degrees warmer than we are here in eastern Kelloland. Uh, wind chill, don't have to worry about that because we have hardly any wind for tonight. With that clear sky, low 21 Sioux Falls, 16 Aberdeen, 21 in Pier, and 24 in Rapid City. Then tomorrow, it will be partly cloudy, hardly any wind, a high of 40 in Sioux Falls, so close to normal. 34 Aberdeen, 43 in Pier, and 49 degrees in Rapid City. We'll have some more clouds streaming through our area this weekend. Nothing coming out of those clouds. It'll be dry, and temperatures will be close to normal. Next week, the holiday week, and yeah, we have a couple issues to talk about, and we'll do that in just a few minutes. 
Thank you, Jay. Well, speaking of the holidays, the season kicks off in Sioux Falls with the Parade of Lights next Friday. Ahead of the parade, Kelland Media Group is getting ready to flip the switch on the holodeck tower. Today, crews were climbing the tower to check on the lights. You can see one man was climbing there to the top of the tower. Here, uh, someone is walking across a Whoa. beam. That looks kind of scary. Yeah, well, man. Well, I guess they know what they're doing. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, the 32nd Annual Parade of Lights will air on multiple Kevland platforms. The annual parade in downtown Sioux Falls, down Phillips Avenue, will be broadcasted over the air on Kello Extra and live stream on Kevland.com. The parade is scheduled to start at 7.30 p.m. and then go until 9.30 p.m. on Friday, November 29th. According to downtown Sioux Falls, the parade has reached capacity for this year's float participants. A popular Sioux Falls pizza place is expanding. In a post on Facebook, Pizza Cheek says it will open a bigger restaurant in the old Kalani's location at 26 in Minnesota. The owners say the goal is to provide a full-service dining experience. Pizza Cheeks also sells pizza out of the Hello High Bar in downtown Sioux Falls. The odds of scoring one of the first Minnesota cannabis licenses just got better for a couple hundred applicants. That's because state regulators rejected two-thirds of the 1,800 applications. Caroline Cummings with our CBS affiliate in Minneapolis shares why some would-be cannabis businesses are confused and explains why the state said no. We're open. The only places you can buy legal weed in Minnesota right now are tribal lands like here in Red Lake. But state regulators will soon grant the first pre-approved business licenses. A head start to get everything ready before legal market launch in Minnesota. I'm kind of confused. Chad Olson applied to be a cannabis transporter to move product between businesses. He's a veteran, which means he could apply for one of these initial licenses because he qualifies as a social equity applicant. I did everything to be legit. Um, because I actually wanted, I was very excited to get this. This would be my own company that I get to run from start. But this week he got this notice saying he won't be in the lottery for the first licenses because he's missing information on his application he says wasn't clear he needed. Pretty muddy on why I didn't get uh, approved. The Office of Cannabis Management, or OCM, says applications without all required details were one of the primary reasons applicants were rejected. Also, that some people were trying to game the system to get an unfair or illegal advantage. That was a concern of Calandra Revering, that social equity applicants would be cheated even though Minnesota's law is intended to help them. I think that any efforts by straw buyers or these companies to recruit straw buyers, um, I think it's an opportunistic attack on the minority community. That's happened in other states with legal weed, so Reverend thinks OCM is taking the right approach. I think that it's the right thing to really highly vet all of these applications to ensure the person applying for a social equity license is the true applicant. Caroline Cummings, WCCO News. This isn't the only time to apply for licenses. There will be another lottery for social equity applicants next year and a general licensing period for everyone else. People denied can try again.